Years ago, there was a guy who used to prank call the show. Some little kid, he, he ran a thing called James Calls In. Yeah. Uh, he's back, and actually, his YouTube channel is back. Thank you for thank you for joining us. Joining us on another week of on another week of people are using the same and touching the same things, and I mean it's just rampant for uh, an outbreak in there, and uh, something has to be done. Did you? What was your experience out in Palau? There's no toilet. There's no bedding. There's nothing. It's a concrete box. Um, um, we got another call coming in. Can we jump on the phone line again? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thanks for calling Reasonable Doubt. Hi, my name is Pete. Um, I want to ask you guys' opinion on the latest election and our Republican candidates and how you think that they would affect uh, the criminal justice system. Because we have some people right now that, like Mr. Trump, that are okay with people attacking each other at the rallies and not telling them to stop and someone that's also okay with making comparisons like his wife uh, to Mr. Cruz's wife, and, and that's just making the people more and more angry. So I want to know what you guys think of this man, because he very well could be our next, uh, the, the one for the Republican Party, and the one that could be the president for the next four years. Like, can you really picture him doing a State of the Union you know, without being violent. <laughs> well, he, 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 he keeps saying he can be presidential, but I don't personally believe that he can. It's all a show for him to be in the media for free all the time. Well, uh, thanks, thanks for the question. We appreciate you calling in. Um, I mean, thankfully, guys, in terms of the local level, I don't think if, if Trump did get elected uh, or whoever gets elected, I don't think they would have a huge impact locally um, because of the way our, our system is set up. I mean, I, I think that the local politicians do exert a lot more control over the criminal justice system here, and I, I don't think that, uh, frankly, from my standpoint, I don't, I don't see Trump or any of the other candidates really being able to affect our local issues. It might affect policy on, you know, at a federal level as to, you know, who becomes the next attorney general, obviously. The, the next president is going to probably have three, maybe four appointments to make uh, to, to the Supreme Court. So in that regard, that's where it might affect the criminal justice system, uh, in my opinion. Guys, what do you think? Uh, <clears throat> I think it w I, I respectfully disagree. I think, he, I think uh, electing someone like Donald Trump would greatly affect the criminal justice system. <laughs> Uh, yes, in the sense, you, in, the sense you, that, uh, in the sense that in the sense that the vitriol that uh, that he has spewed and the, uh, the the atmosphere that he's created, I think, is going to cause it might create more customers of the criminal that's justice what system. I'm, and that's what I'm getting. Yeah, at. that's where I think okay. you're going to see a okay. real <laughs> impact of someone because I, I agree with you in the sense that that uh, really whoever our next president is going to be is not going to affect the way that. You know, judges hand down sentences, or yep. prosecutors prosecute cases. Uh, it, we've been doing this; we've all been doing this long enough to know, uh, especially in federal court. You know, Republican, Democrat, Attorney General is going to go after who they're going to go after. Right. Uh, but he's uh, going he's gonna to look at the police department as like a new revenue stream that he's going to try to double or triple sales. You know, just by arresting <laughs> more people and getting all those sorts of attacks from our from our own population and citizens. Well, and I think it goes back to the topic we were talking about earlier, which I'd have to do a little bit more research, but I wonder where big private prison money is going to. <laughs> I mean, does it, where does it go? Is it going to Republican candidates, Democrat candidates, or both? I'd, my gut instinct says it's going to both. And um, but that's a good question. I think. Uh, and and I'm, uh, it's interesting that you brought that up because I immediately thought that too. Again, uh, I could see we're talking about the problems with privatization of, of prisons. Uh, you could definitely. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more of that with uh, with someone like Trump in charge. But again, we're just the problem with them is there's just too many unknowns. I think so. Yeah, I mean. Uh, you know, he's only like 500 delegates away from being the nominee. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for the apprentice, left. apprentice White House version, right? Uh, oh man! Uh, thanks, thanks for the call. Uh, good times chatting about it. Have a great.
Have a great, great night.